Hello guys, welcome back to our main stack application. Uh, MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js full stack application. Right, so in this application, um, we have a multi functionalities where um, seller can sign up to start selling products, uh, to sign up to start posting and sell products. So it's admin who who now post who now um, sell the product uh, who now sell the product create the uh, communicate with the the buyer or customer all of that manage the orders delivery the transaction so all of that all of this are done by uh, app manager so the job for the seller is only to post the product and then wait for the the payment so the app manager uh, collect the commission um so far this is the what we have uh this is the ui so we, now in this time we are focused now on the ui uh, building the ui posting the product and then all of that okay so in today video we are going to um start now building now all of this ui uh last in last video we managed to create the ui create the sign up login and the um, sign up uh, all of that so let's now dive in the development of the our main stack application so to get started uh i have my project is here it's ready so what i'm what i want to do is i want to Go and open my project with the, uh, the VS Code. So in the case you don't have the project, uh, in, instead you just catch up with the you are just catching up with us. So you can also uh, go to uh, my GitHub repository, and then uh, this is the project, the startup project. So the link is the, the description of this video. So you'll find the link there. So you can download the startup uh, project and then you'll be able to uh, catch up with us so once you download the project you'll find the two folders the one for client and then the server so if you open the server you there now you will run the npm install to install all the packages and the, the same as um, client so you will also be able to connect to your mongodb the, the database so you also you can also go to uh, the link description for the our playlist we found where we are the tutorial of the video about uh, connecting or setting up the mongodb all right um yeah uh, that's it for the interaction introduction so let's go and um all right now let's go back to our vs code let's see what we have done so far uh this is our project this is the um, so this is the server and then here is a client so what i want to do is a uh, actually all right so what i want to do i want to navigate to server and do server cg server and then uh, i can open server with the vs code and then this will uh, open the server uh but i also want to open uh, I also want to open the uh, client. So, so to open the client, I can do CD client. Uh, sorry, clear that and then do CD back to the main road and then back but go to client huh? and then the client also open with the vs code all right so now i can uh, close this in order to save some memory so close this uh, sorry supposed to navigate supposed to open um, this is actually the server Yeah, this is the server so for server we can actually just run the server here so what you can do is navigate to the server and then just run npm run dev 
So make sure you are in the server directory to run the npm to start our server. And then we see if the, if the connection is successfully. All right, so our connection was successfully and connected um, to the database. So in case you have a problem, please go ahead, go back and check our our previous video. Um, uh, next, we instead of opening two, uh, instead of opening two, instead of uh, opening two folders, two windows. Uh, all right. So instead, let's just go and open back, open again the VS Code. Open the client with the VS Code. So I can navigate to a client, client, and then open it to the VS Code again. So just because we are in the main folders folder where we have two uh, two subfolders. All right. In this case, in this case, our main folder is open. So I can confirm that our main folder is open and how many windows I, I have open just two. Since we are going to be, we are going to focus much on uh, our UI. So for our client, we, we also want to run the server. We, we also want to start our application. So you can do npm run dev. This will start our React application. um so application now is running on port uh, 5174 so if i copy this uh, url then go back i don't need this i can close this and then just press this one here load all right so this is our application you can see this is our current application and then this is the and then this is the uh, our main application, the original application. So we are building. This is the the one we are currently building. Uh, okay. So what you want to do now is um, start now. What I going to do today? We want to add. So what what I going to do today is uh, in this episode, we want to build our dashboard, and then also update the, the sign up for manager. So that the manager also can sign up using uh, using the code verification code, and then also you want to add the dashboard for the seller, admin, and the uh, customer or buyer, and the, all of that. So we are go also going to update the uh, private route so to manage uh, the access the dashboard access for every user or user role based. Okay, uh, also we need also to update our index.css. Uh, all right, to do that, let's start first of all with our index.css. So we can go back to our application uh, and then go search for, you know, on uh, VS Code. Eh? I'm currently using VS Code at uh, my integrated IDE. I'm currently using a VS Code as my code editor. So um, control or command G. So control or command G to edit, to open search. And then I want to type um, index.css. So I want to make some modifications here. On uh, our index of the CSS, so I have some style here to, I'm just going to paste this one and then I'll explain to you. So everything remains the same except we are going to remove, uh, we are just, we are just going to use our default, hmm? our font, default font, font families. And then also, uh, we are also going to also remove the margin which we did in the, the previous uh, CSS and then the body also target the HTML. We remove the, remove the default margin and remove the default padding. And also uh, set the box sizing for the, uh, for the body. And then the default font family is set to um, Arial. 
and then sans serif and uh, font size default font size you set to 16 pixel all of that so this is just uh, basically it's just the default css to at least make our css look good um you can go through uh, this one uh, go through one by one so all right um after that if you uh, just save and then go back to our browser this is what we have is actually there's nothing much change here okay um, that's it for css for index.css you can close that so first of all we want to adjust first of all to we want to go to our sign up or which is called a register file so we want to make some modification here what i mean is um verification code we want to modify this verification code instead to call it verification code so let's call it just code eh? so that can match the server requirement and then um, okay this is it so if you go to our server back to window where we have our server this is our server um, if you go to manager rule have manager rule search for manager rule here uh, no 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 that's manager route but manager rule manager rule all right uh, if you see that scroll down you see that the body request the body so you see you are expecting code not verification code we are expecting uh, the variable the the variable we are expecting is uh, code so if you come back here So request.body, we are expecting a uh, code as a parameter. So if you go back here to our client, you see uh, client. Yeah, now you are passing uh, verification code. So just save this. There's not, there's nothing much to do. There's no modification to do on the back end. So this was just a little bit correct. Just, just a bit of correction to show you that we changed this from a verif verification code to just code. All right. So now, if you go back to home page, so you want to sign up as a manager. Uh, let's sign up as a manager. Let's say um, seller. Now we are able to, this is how we are able to go to seller, but we will fix that just in a bit. Login, but you sign up. So for sign up, let's try to just fill on the information. And then for verification, we'll go, let's just fill the, any random code. We get an error, you are not authorized. But what we want to do is, we want to go to back end. So we want to get the code. First of all, this is the code we want to get. And then come back and paste this code here. And also we want to use this um, email or you can also add another email here. Let's say, let's add another random email here. So these are emails you, you authorize to access this, uh, this application as manager or admin, whatever you choose to call it. Call it. So I'm going to change here, post this one. Eh? And then, uh, Let's try to log in. The user already exists. Oh, th that user already exists. So you can actually go and sign up. So in the, in in case, in fact, you could um, add a different user because the, the email actually is the same thing, repeating the same email. That's the problem. Let's create a different user. Say Shaban. Uh, one, two, three. So this is Shaban, one, two, three, and then set that. Uh, let's call this user uh, Shaban Shaban in Swamba and then I also want to copy that email eh? so try to sign up okay now we'll be able to we sign up successfully let's try to log in now so change the email all right so now this is um you can now see the URL is admin URL but one thing I noticed that this is admin URL. This is an admin dashboard. So 
if you copy and then you go you try to open a incognito incognito and then go to this uh, you ask you to sign up but if you sign up let's sign up as a buyer uh, just give the name uh, say Jean Bala and then let's uh, just give an example and then password just give any random password one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is the email copy the email and then go back try to log in it was that since said with nft you see now you, you can actually still accessing admin so there's no any restriction here all right so we are going to work on it to restrict this so for example, if you are not admin, and then you came to admin, you're trying to access the admin uh, dashboard. So we redirect you back to your, uh, your, your, your dashboard. So what we are trying to do here is now, if you try to come, uh, try to access the admin dashboard and you are not an admin or you are not a manager, so we restrict you we redirect you back to your particular um uh dashboard all right so to do that first of all we have to go back to go back to our ui you see now logging in and log out we want to work on the dashboard so first of all we want to fix the dashboard issue see here how the dashboard is look, looking so we have to design this one so to do that we have to go to we are using a material ui so we can go to to do that you have to search for go to your, your browser and then search for mui material the material you design and then uh, you search for uh, dashboard eh? uh, dashboard dashboard layout so here i've got dashboard layout so you got so much design different design so I, we have all right so what you want to do you can just go and scroll down a little bit i say demo so you can copy this one so go you can expand the code so expand make sure you copy js not type type uh, script copy js and then uh, just go back to our dashboard to our vs code and then we want to start with the users user dashboard first we can uh, just copy a paste this one here and change the name to uh, public public user dashboard uh, so the error you see is actually about to react, but uh, you can comment this to just get rid, get rid of the error. Right back now to our browser, go to our application, then try to reload. Uh, this is actually admin, but uh, we can uh, also do the same thing to admin. So take the go back to this VS Code. Um, we want to paste that code also to admin here this is a public user and then this is seller so if you type here remember we have admin so this is admin so what i want to do is just go in and then paste the same code here change the name to admin uh, sorry control shift l edit all of them so admin uh, dashboard then save back to our vs code now this is our this is admin dashboard now so, all right so we have much to do first of all let's wrap our application with um let's create a, a reusable app layout so to create that we can go to our component so we go to component so we want to create our app layout all right so 
here let's create app layout uh, dot jsx so this one the job for this one is just to wrap um, all the design the design for the entire application so we don't want to keep repeating ourselves again here we have a uh, admin dashboard so if uh, i can close this one now so if you go for example also this one you can close for now if i go to home page you see that we have to create a different design home page different design so what we want to do we can create we can uh, design the layout for application how we want the application to look add the footer all of that and then we just uh, extend that on uh, the rest of the of the ui um what we want to do first of all is to create a um, uh, first of all the source component and then a uh, app layout so for this one can do const um app layout and then we will uh, have the children also we just return the children but first of all let's extend uh, let's export our app layout um what we want to take in this one we can take um well we can do we can have children but also we can have classes eh? also have classes uh, sorry classes which will be equal to string eh? classes is equal to string by default and then we will have uh, uh, something for example show many show um header set to true all right so this is it you know now we need to define these props you can say um uh, up layout and then define props so these are props uh, this one the first one children are required and then this uh, show had um, show header is actually false is actually true by default so you can show the header and then the classes just shrink so i'm going to show you step by step what, what i mean here so what what we want to do here the children instead we want to wrap it let's wrap children in uh, a main div because they remember main div is reusable in uh, all our our application so we want to use uh, main and then uh if show header we will show header but remember we don't have header this one is showing you we don't have header we have to create an app bar and then the rest uh up show header is not supposed to be there he actually we just want to show um, classes eh? no no we just want to show children so you can wrap that in a div I just going to say children. Oh, sorry. Um, so just going to show children here, um, but also we can add some classes here. Let's say class uh, class name, but we don't want to pass that. Instead, we want to just use some class here, which we want to set. Um, padding um left and right that's set to four that's set to four and then uh, let's set also for small small screen padding left and right uh let's set that to two pixel and then for um, large screen you can also set padding left and right let's set that to six can set to photo and then a uh, padding top and the bottom to just six okay so now the class we will um what we want to do we can use our class but uh, before to, before using our class what we want to do we will just have to connect connect with the um, so what I want to do is just going to connect with the, the current class we will find in here. So we can do classes. I'm just going to do something like this. 
to concatenate the classes the one will get if you if by default you pass classes you get it and then you just pass in here as a string uh, but now we want to add me a default classes mini screen to full uh, which is just full height um, full to full and then we also want to set margin uh, margin or oh, um, margin bottom uh, let's set that to 36 okay um, that's it for this one okay now we need to add something like header here we need to have like header let's say header and then we also need to add like uh, footer here but you don't have that you can do we can check if header will show header we don't have that we can create something for example main header main header uh, which we don't have and then also you can foot uh, we can set the uh, up footer but this one you can be optional you can set this in, uh, depending on the template but let's just go ahead and create create the up header Alright, for app header, you can create a folder called navbar. Uh, navbars. And, and then for navbar, let's create um, main app bar. You can call this whatever you want to call it, but in this case, we just call it um, main app bar. And uh, .jsx so in the main app bar is actually where we want to show um, our many navigation header so for the main navigation header we can also use the from material ui first of all let's create this one I'll do const main app bar is equal to function so this function will take some stuff here um can take some params we need a title so if you default you pass title okay or if you pass title okay and then also need a search handler we will use a we will use such handler such handle has such handle or handle search so this one is to help us if you go to the many our many application or actually i've closed it but our many application if you type search is actually open the search um search uh, search model or search um, dialog all right so this will return just say return um, title uh, h1 Uh, title whatever title we pass in there and then export export default main app bar um uh, what we can do let's go back to our app layout and then export to that and then import to that um, main app bar oh no main app bar is actually here if you try to type it so be able to import it automatically is here main app bar and uh, get rid of this one okay um uh, if no you need to now you need now to import uh, prop types uh, okay for this one we need actually to use a uh, material ui app um, app bar so mui uh, just take this one and then I will leave the link the link for this show on the on the description right and then here search search for up bar uh, up bar uh, sorry supposed to just type up bar So we want to use this one, this app bar. So I'll show you how also we can speed up the development by just giving the AI to 
uh, copy or, or everything modify everything for us but for now let's just copy main up bar you can go if you walk through the if you want to walk through the main up bar you see that we've got search and then um, uh, search show search show, show wrapper all of that Okay, so we can take this to our, our VS code and then we can change to let's try to change this. What is the name for this uh, app layout? And then this is the name main app bar. Copy this name to make sure that you don't want to create any conflict here. And then uh, scroll down instead of this one, you can actually change the name. So you try to do uh, control shift and l to see if it's anywhere else this name is being used and then just change this one okay save um go back to our app layout save uh back to our application reload we don't have any error for now but let's go back so what do you want to do i want to we want to use that for example in a home page so if you navigate to for example uh, pages close this and then we have a home page here so if you go to home page if you don't have this one try create this one try to create this one so in here what i want to do is i want to wrap this i want to remove this one but just i actually want to wrap this with the, our app layout so i can do uh, app layout then close it like this so save and then go back to our application everything is still the same yeah except now we have a uh, application um app bar is there but now we don't have footer so what i want to do is we can also go ahead and add footer so for footer we can uh, actually add footer here say footer so let's go and create footer folder here let's create footer so in in this one in this folder let's create um, app footer dot jsx so this is going to be in uh, source and then component and then uh, app footer sorry footer and uh, app footer so create app footer so for the app, app footer we don't have much to return here i'm just going to return um let's say um uh let's just return here hello world uh from footer then save that we just want to see how it works and then we we'll go back to our um home page we want to import app footer app footer and then close this uh save that and if we go back to our application uh, this is app footer so for the app footer we can go to flow by uh, flow byte flow flow byte so this one is a good uh, also is a good tool for you to use since you are using talwind css uh this uh, this site you can also find much uh, blocks to use for example we can search here for footer Let's search for footer and um, so we can use this footer 
So we can just copy the code. By default is a VS, a V VGS, uh, but since as we are using um, React, so we just copy and then we make some modifications. So we go back to our app footer. This is the app footer. And uh, instead, let's replace with this one. Just press this one here. So of course you are going to see all these errors because this one, this code is for actually for VS for is usually for for V VJS flow by for flow by it. By default, this code actually this V VJS is more V VJS. Since as we are um, React, so what we can do is do control. Um, Control plus dot, and then you will get this one. You get this um, dialog to show you uh, to fix errors. So let's try fix all. React no unknown properties. So let's try to fix all. Now we see just one one click. You'll be able to you are able to fix all the errors. Okay, now save. If go back to our application. This is our application now. So application code footer. Um, uh, next, we want to change. We can change the title, change the logo, all of that. Since we have our favicon here, we have our logo, so we can change all of this before starting building all the dash the user dashboard. So let's go first for the, the basic UI. Uh, you can go to here. Let me change this one to e-commerce. E-commerce app. E-commerce app like this. Uh, you can change this one too. Okay, since we don't have this, uh, we don't have address, you can put your address. So just going to replace with the um, home page of application. Uh, also this one. You can uh, do Control Shift L to edit all of them. So we just set, it, just going to set this to e uh, e commerce e commerce app. Um, okay. Uh, next, we have much to change here. We can change the the term condition, all of that. If you scroll down a little bit, also. Uh, you also have much to edit there, so you can add more as much you want for your footer. For example, here. So if you save this and then go back to our application, this is what we have. This is what we got for application. Um, but there's something missing here, but like logo. So I'm going to show you how you can add, add that logo. So for the logo, this is the logo here. Um, so our logo is actually on the public. If you want to change the logo, you go to the copy or image you want to use for the logo or for favcom and then add it to public. I want to show you where's the public. So this is the menu. This is the menu application route. So this is the public. You see this um, directory here, public, and then just post your image here. This is our image. So what I can do is I will uh, go to our footer and then I'm just going to add some SMS software dot PNG and then this will load our image. So if I go now, this is our logo. All done, all set. So the rest you can add, you can add more uh, more uh, column here if you want for your footer. You can even extend to see we have much we have different type of footer here so you can copy and then just go and use it but this 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 is it for our um, our footer and our app layout so what we can do is uh, we want to add um, our logo here next to this so i want to show you how we can do that by going to our main main app bar uh, main app bar want to find where is the logo scroll down
this is the search but we are looking for the logo app logo okay since here there's no app logo there's the only title so if i change this title here to e-commerce yeah, e-commerce app huh? so save and then you see now we have this title here do you have our title um so by this, this sorry this is the server folder but by default if you want to use um if you see our application our, the one we had we wanted to take um sorry this one wanted to take title by default so if you pass title here you say okay title and the whatever else you want to pass but you say okay title instead to pass the name just scroll down a little bit instead to pass the title we can check uh, if title if title and then we show title else we show e-commerce app eh? e-commerce app like this one so get rid of this one so by default if you have a title say app title yeah so everywhere you extend now this uh, the header if you want to set title you set the title by the default it's going to be this all right so this is it for um, this uh, basic layout uh, now next let's go and um, change all of this one and then uh, start now adding more uh, functionalities all right guys so first of all we want to make sure that who has access to which dashboard uh, for example a user a customer or seller cannot access admin dashboard or admin cannot access a seller dashboard vice versa so any anytime if you are a user you try to access admin dashboard it's supposed to be redirected to your, your uh, particular uh, dashboard so to do that what you have to do is you want to go back to our vs code and then we want to use um, our want to use our private route to restrict user or to check the user access which uh, current location which page is this which template is user accessing so to do all of that we have to go to let's go to our hooks and then create a, a function called use authentic use authentication dot js all right so in this function is few things you need to do here uh hooks so we need to first of all need to get uh, import um we need to import um, use state uh, so we need to import you use effect and then use state from react and then also need to import um, use navigate use navigate uh, from react router uh, react dom all right so we can do a const um, use authentication is equal to uh, is equal to a function so uh, is equal to a function and then we're just going to import that function we're going to export it so that you can use it uh, somewhere else all right um in this one first of all now i have to create the navigate nav uh, navigation or navigate navigate is equal to use navigate and then also want to create now a const session uh, session is equal to set session let's do now set session okay in this set session we can create a function uh, let's create a function where now we want to first of all get the user and then the current token so we can do const um, token is equal to local storage get token but if there's no token we can set to nil um, also user is equal to 
local storage dot get user if no, if there's no user we will get also we also uh, set this to nil but remember well, if we get user we have to pass the user so you can do json uh, dot pass and then uh, look and then local storage dot get user and then get item and then we pass user all right but what happen if you don't uh, what happen if you get the user so if you get the user we want to return user and token we want to return the user and token um else we want to return nil but we can do try catch so do try catch to catch for to catch errors then we pass this try catch this you avoid the crash um if you get an error for now here is console.log uh, failed to get um, session data uh, and then also we can just return nil so we can do return uh, return token to nil and then user to nil okay oh uh, now we can uh, try to get what every time we load the function we can try to check if the current user is logged in and uh, if the current user has token eh? so we can check if um, we can use uh, use effect um use effect you can only only that's only call a session let's only call it the session but first of all we can check if um, not user let's let's check uh, session uh, dot user if the session dot user and uh, session dot token mm, if session dot user and session dot token but we check no if there is no user this will crash and then if also there's no token but you have to pass um to check if there is no user or if user is not undefined if the session is not undefined and the user is not is there and also if the token is not undefined the session is not undefined and the token is there or well, what you want to do i don't want to this one what you want to do so we want to set the uh actually want to set the uh, local storage so like you can say uh, set uh, or update the update uh the local storage so you can do uh, local storage uh, the, the token uh, local so they set token and then local local story dot set user uh else we can remove else so that mean you call the log log out or whatever if it's there we just have to clear clear token and then also clear user uh, so that's simple just simple as that um so our function will return our function will return a session let's return so return session but we don't we say here is suggesting that return um navigator nope we want to return uh sign in let's say sign in and uh, sign out sign out but we don't have this function we can create them for sign in uh, for sign in we can create const sign in so the function will take user and then also take the token take the user and then also take take the the token um user and the token so we can do set state uh you can call set 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 session you pass user and then also pass the token uh if you call that set state is up here this is set state you can uh, set user but if you see here we are not setting it we are just getting it so instead you can actually do it just here let me just get rid of this so what i can do is local storage uh, dot uh, local story dot set user set item and then we can set uh, token and then also can set user 
and then um, you can call the set uh, set session also yeah we can also call the set session yeah so we also call the set session all right um that's it for the sign in but um what's the next function we have here sign out we don't have sign out for sign out we just want to delete everything we want to remove everything we can do sign out we want to delete everything let's see if ai is smart enough to help us okay for sign out local storage dot remove item remove login no no remove a um, token and then remove user and then set session we just set to nil nil and uh, then we call the navigate to redirect us back, back to login that's it um what next uh i think that's it for now okay so we want now to use this in a several place but let's start first for with the um, uh, private routes all right okay so for private route we can try to review a little bit things mm. up here we are calling the token and then all of this but we could also just call the session we could call uh, first of all let's just go with this the one is here we can check we get the token and then also get the user and then also get the um, location but we check if there's no token if there's no token we just redirect the user to login and then also we pass the location from that location the current the, the user location um, Uh, next we check user if there's user and allows role and is not allows role and the if the user role is not include we navigate we send the user to unauthorized user but we don't have this um, route so we have to create this route go to app route so you just go to your app router eh? here is your app route is actually from your routes folder and then the uh, app route so we have to create this one scroll up a little bit and then here let's create um, an authorize so i can create a an authorize so for an authorize we don't have it you you can um, we can actually create this page to make things a little bit easier just go and create a um, Unauthorize. Uh, unauthorized user. Unauthorized dot JSX. And then for this one, uh, const uh, const unauthorized is equal to we just return unauthorized and then uh, export the function uh, that's it export the template and then here we're just going to use this one is unauthorized uh, and then close that so save okay so this if the user if they sometimes it happen that the user is there but there's no token or some this versa so you can just send the user to unauthorized template um okay so next back to our private route Clo try to close this one for now go back to our, our private route so this is it for the private route so else we check now the current user location uh, what what i would like to do here is we can actually uh we check the location first of all we are checking the location and then user.path 
location dot path check the take the current path to check which the which location is it and then we keep checking um, but what we can update here is let's create just a uh, variable to show the location cost um, role role path eh? role path is equal to just pass so it's just pass an object and then this object let's say for example admin we pass admin uh, we pass admin we don't need this one so okay we can keep admin or manager is actually the same thing yeah and then seller we pass seller location and then the other location also uh but um We have a we have a problem that we need to pass we need to pass ID. So what I can do what you can do here is let's use the back tip instead. Um, here let's use the back tip. Huh? Let's remove this one. Then pass user. And then pass the ID. So this one will be able to pass the ID because you if you go back to our dashboard this is admin actually admin uh, admin yeah you see that you are passing the id here if you see to login back go to login search for the login or go to uh, pages and then auth here is the login you see for example that when we are redirecting user uh somewhere we are directing the user you are passing id all right and then also we are storing the user token and the user token and then user on, on the local storage so here we are actually accessing those information uh user id so we can use user id or um, i okay user id but you can also check if uh, the user ID does exist. But uh, I'm sure we have checked for it before here. You can check for it here. If user ID. So you can do something like this. Check all of them at once. Okay. So that means if you have a different role for manager, different role for admin, all of that, you can set it here. To redirect them. Uh, for seller, also you can do the same thing. Let's get rid of this and uh, set um, actually a seller and then dashboard and, uh, and then ID and then get, so get rid of this one. Then just change use back tip. Yeah. Okay. So now we have the path. So we can access now the path easily. Um so what I want to what we can do is create um target so target is equal target path is equal to um, uh, is equal to user user role user role path and then you pass the role All right so we check we take now this guy this is the guy now we can just use to check the role here so we don't have to type all this so we can shorten this one you can get rid of all this here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Get rid of all this from here up to down here. So you can clear the code. So for the code, we can just do. Uh, we can check if uh, if location now. We just take the location. We take the path. We take the path. The path uh, for the path name for the location, and then we check if it's not equal to if is not equal to path uh, whatever you are targeting here. Uh, let me close this one. Uh, let's close this one. All right, so. We want to check the location if um, we return navigator. Let's return navigator. Return navigator. 
okay, we return navigator, but we just send the user to the path. So just send it to the target path. So if the, the, the path does not exist, so they redirect you to unknown, which is uh, unauthorized. Okay, so we just take the user role and then we redirect the user uh, according to the, the role. So if now we just save this, uh, but before that, we, we have to go down, I think it's fine. Everything, everything is fine down. Uh, instead here, we could have used uh, the, um, our um, user authentication. But first of all, let's just save that and then we can check. Then we can go to up route, uh, close this one, then also close this, go to up route uh, here. So all this route here before accessing the dashboard or seller dashboard or admin dashboard. So first of all, we call the uh, private route. So private route, when we call the, whenever I call the private route, route, and then the private route will check if the, we check the current user role. Um, here, this is a private route, we check the current user role, and then you regulate the user according to the role. But, even in this one, check out. You remember, check out is only for seller, is only for customers. So for check out, you can also call a private route. Yeah, you can also call a private route. So if you save that, go back to admin to the, the browser. We reload now, we see it here. But let's try to go to seller. Uh, redirecting us bus back to uh, admin. If you try to go to user, you see the redirecting us bus <coughs> back to admin. But or <coughs> sorry, you see the redirecting us back to admin. <coughs> so. What we want to do here is uh, we want to create, go, just go to incognito, just go to me incognito window and then try to load our application. They're directing us back to sign, uh, login. So try to sign up just like a buyer, let's say uh, new user, um, let's set Kali. Uh, let's say Kali uh, Juma and then uh, Kali uh, underscore J at me.com and then copy the email and then the password one two three four five six seven eight nine and then uh, just sign up so you go to the the login and then put the password so this will redirect us back to uh, user, not admin. Now we are at the, uh, this is now the user dashboard. So if you try to go to admin, to go to admin, they redirect you back to user. Or if you try to go to seller, they redirect you back to um, user because your role is as a buyer, just normal user just a common user, not as a seller, not as a admin, as an admin. All right, so the secondly, also you can do, whenever you uh, hit your dashboard, whenever you use a, hit this dashboard, so what we want to do is, we want to grab the, we want to grab this, uh, um, we want to grab this ID, we grab the ID and then we send the request to, to the server and then server manager for example if he's a manager or just the user check user is manager or check is seller so this will help us now to check the current user we have this um, the check check 
check his manager so I remember last time I told you that so just check his manager the job you will see the job for that so we will make the request to the server using this ID to check now if the current user and the role is matching so if it's not matching we return if it's not matching we return nil or we return false or return true so this will help us now to know if the current user can actually access or stay on uh, this current uh, uh, dashboard all right so this is it now let's go ahead and then you do for seller because here we have admin and then uh, we go we have a seller here a user here let's work on a, a seller but before that let's work on a login uh, on logout okay guys so to do the way to do that uh, login and log out pass the session to the um, app provider first of all we need to use um, a <clears throat> first of all, we need to use a um, uh, react use memo so to memorize the um, the, the routes so we can go uh, go to our UI so from here first we want to use uh, our um, we want to use our use authentication so we can create a uh, variable so create a session get a session and then also want to get the send in sign in send out and then is equal to use um, authentication but we need to bring it in so if you try to type here use authentication it will appear here so we, this is the one we want to use uh, secondly secondly we want to manage the path eh? first of all we want to create the variable to manage the path so we can do that by creating const um, <coughs> path name and then we have set path so for set path we need to use um, react use state uh, the path for, will just be empty for now but we don't have um, we don't have the use state or use effect so we can import that import uh, use effect from react but we also want to use uh, use state use state from react so um, all right down here, down here this is what we get just this is what we have um next let's use that use effect to update the part with the route manager uh, route change so we can do uh use effect we instead we want to pass the session we want to pass our session here but we want to check if actually the user exists if uh, if session dot user and then id so to do that we can check to make sure it's not nil and then also the id is not nil and then we what we want to do here we just want to set the path let's say set the set the path the path name so to do that we can do set path name uh, we don't want to set to that but we want to set to the current uh, user since this is the user public user so we want to do um can do back tip back tip and then user and then dashboard and then pass the name pass the session uh, user and then pass the id so that's reset now the the current path for user if if it is your if this is admin we will change here so it's actually going to be the same thing we just have to change the uh, the path eh? a user or admin or seller uh, and then the, uh, next we have to memorize the memorize the the route say so memorize memorize the route uh, memorize the router all right so for that we can do const router 
create a router first we have a router here we don't need this we have a router here so what we have to do is const uh, const router const the router is equal to use memo we want to use memo use memo and then for use memo if you go to take a look at react here what you are doing is okay um can you use react or um, i like to use much uh, chat gpt uh, for example here uh, the use memo hooks is in react is used to memorize or cache the result of a computation so it it only recompetes when its dependencies change it can be particularly useful to optimize the performance in functional components by preventing ex expenses cal expensive calculations or object creation from rerunning unnecessarily so this is it what we want to do here okay so we want to use a uh, use memo this memo now just take the function and then uh, the function and then we also pass uh, a couple of stuff in here so we want to pass our path name and then we also want to pass the um, search param or oh, search search params search params and then we just pass new search params pass the location we don't want to pass anything here just leave it empty and then we want to pass uh, navigate our navigate and then for the navigate we can use callback use callback use callback so for the callback we, we pass now the path we pass the path we can call it any type anything but we just call it the path for now and then uh, for path we also call now set um set param a uh, set path name which is a uh, here set path name and then for the set part name, you can make sure we convert this to string. If you call this use string, uh, string. Okay, so we just we call the um, string, and then we pass the we pass our path. So next, um, we just construct our our um, whatever our uh, path here. So next, we will, then we're just going to set this to empty. We don't need to pass anything there. And uh, and then also we just pass uh, the path, path name. Okay. So that's how we construct our we construct our our router and um, this is the router here uh, next thing is next thing we need to pass session here we need to pass the session so we can pass the session session no 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 Ses session is equal to session and then we need to pass authentication uh this if you go up provider no no we go to mui material ui and then you say up uh, up provider up provider so you'll see some uh, up provider apis here So here is a, here is actually here is actually the the documentation for up for material UI. So you can see that here you can pass uh, authentication, you can pass sign in, sign out, all of that uh, functions. So here I want to pass authentication, authentication, authentication. You can also do copy and paste. Eh? Just go here, copy the name of the function for the param, and then paste here. Nope. And then for authentication, 
is equal to we pass now object we pass um, our sign in and sign out functions um so uh, app provider also take the you can also pass the uh, branding so you can say branding for branding is equal to is actually pass an object here with some couple of bunch of things for example can pass um, logo so for the logo we actually want to pass as an image logo as an image so for image is actually our image now we want to pass imd mm, imd and then we want to pass the source is equal to sms our image where is it same software the same software dot png so the image is actually from the public if you go to the public directory here this is the image we are using so accessing from there okay um this the branding take the logo and then also take watch title and also take title so can pass title so the title is um you can pass just uh e e-commerce app uh what else here e-commerce app yeah this is it for now um navigator navigation route demo and then uh, window window demo so we need window demos there let's just save and then go back to user see uh which one is the user we have to use us here looks like we're having an issue uh, oh user authentication is not here uh, let's go check for user authentication user authentication uh, let's go back here where is user authentication this is user authentication and this is our app search reload okay now we're getting an error here user authentication does not provide okay i see Right, so what you can do to debug this issue, you can co copy the user authentication and then go to let's go to chat GPT to speed up things and then paste this one here. So this will help us clean up the code very quickly. scroll down a little bit well it looks like um your user authentication hooks manage the user authentication session by handling the token uh, user data in boot location and then all of that um, code review and the suggestion initially the state use handling user initial state handling you you initialize session with a function to parse values from the local storage which is efficient this way session is only read from the local storage local storage on the first uh, run render reducing unnecessary passing okay uh what is your suggestion additional notes depending dependencies management all right let's copy this one you see here we can see uh, some um, suggestions Additionally, note 
let's go back to just press this one see what we get mm. let's save it looks like we have an issue all right you guys after a short web break all right so let's have a look yeah we are getting an error it says that um use authentication public um, line 100 is not a function or is not returning a value of uh, a terrible okay let's see we've got our use use demo router uh, uh, where is it again i see here it's supposed to be an object eh? supposed to pass this an object not, a, not as an array so back but to reload again okay now use callback function is not defined uh, where is it something i'm missing here use the move so i use the move okay use callback is not defined uh, okay what we can do is um let's try to walk through mm. use callback it is not defined use callback is not defined are we importing use callback up here oh let's try also to import use callback save again back try to reload okay now we're getting the dashboard so this is the the path man all right so this is the the currently part if you reload you should get in the same thing so what you can do um can you remove this one uh i'll try to clean up right we can use ai to clean up our code a bit so let's copy the code because the same code we are going to use it to uh, for seller and then admin so let's make sure that it's clean and well documented go to ai and then press this one this code let's say let's clean up clean up the code uh, without breaking it mm, breaking it so code all right as we have to make sure that our code is clean and also add some um, um documentation some and then document our code Okay, let's see a key change. The change mods is um, add a default value to window in a public dashboard parameters. Parameter simplify the dependency in use effect. Simplify use memo and navigate without use callback. This maintain the functionality while optimizing the readability. All right. Um, okay, let's go back to see what you have here. First of all. Since you are, we are not using a React, we can. Um, we are not using this. You can actually comment this one to make sure that we don't have these errors here. It's a bit annoying. Okay, this is the change. Um, so this is our um, public user dashboard. We're still defining our um, 
our route and then also uh, you are using the memo use memo and uh, what else okay this is actually simple save it go back to our dashboard try to reload uh, we still have the same thing all right so this is the same thing but now we can, can duplicate this to use from admin too so i can copy this one go to our admin so it's actually the same thing for now but we just want to change the name so what you do is you paste it here control uh can do control a to select all and then just um, do control v to paste it here but remember this is the name so we have, must have to to remember the name is admin dashboard so you can uh, do control shift l to edit all of it and then admin uh, admin dashboard admin dashboard and then save uh, looks like something wrong here yeah that one admin dashboard and then save so we'll go back to admin dashboard this is our admin dashboard huh? you can see the url all right um now seller dashboard but before that i want to show you now we are able to log out so this one here you can log out actually if you go you type now you log out if you try again to go to say user dashboard they will redirect you back to log out because the storage was already deleted uh, if you now try to sign up as a seller let's try up now let's say uh, color uh, color as a as a color uh, shabani so let's say uh, color color to color one at me dot com dot com and then uh, as a seller now we ask you for a store name just say uh, give any store name a uh, color and then uh, it just pass anything password and the three cut six six set with enough zero and then we want to copy this email address and sign up um, try again the email and then pass the password and then sign up so now this is the seller you see now the seller will have the same one <clears throat> the same uh, ugly looking so we can copy this one remember the dashboard for now is just the same eh? so we're just going we're just using the copying the layout eh? so going back to seller and then i want to paste this one remember the name is seller just paste everything and then Control shift plus l to edit all of it so going to say seller uh, seller dashboard dashboard then save back to seller now this is the seller dashboard you can see now the url so if you click there you'll be able to now look out again all right guys so next we want to uh, let's see our list what we have to do next is um Okay, next let's go ahead and add now the uh, the path different path for the um, dashboard admin all of that we can now uh, start now building our ui uh dash admin dashboard plus this as the same time you are building the um, app layout but for now we are just we just want to go we just want to edit first of all our app layout We want to edit the um, uh, the app app bar, so again we don't need this message, and then we don't need this. Instead of this, we we put here a card, shopping card. All right. So to do that, um, we can go to our app bar, 
up uh, actually is main up bar so we can speed up things so is a uh, other way you copy you edit one by one or you can also speed up but first of all we don't need the some things here we don't need this is um uh this is mail we don't need this one can get rid of this uh, and then notification instead of notification you can use um shopping card shopping card icon this one is not there but you can actually uh, get shopping cart icon yeah and then uh, here shopping cart icon what else title okay let's just save that shopping cart icon does not exist hmm. uh, let's remove this one go back and then try to do shopping cart icon does not exist so you can search for shopping card shopping card icon so icon from a material ui eh? icons all right and then here search for where is it yeah search for trying to find icons icons yeah oh come on material icons and then shopping cars let's type shopping for shopping search for shopping card icon here so here we can choose one um can use this one okay just rest this one here and then uh, save shopping card icon all right um but we have so much to do uh we have so much to do here so what I would like to do is we can use the AI to speed up all of these things to just clean clean up our shopping cart uh, up up bar. So if you go to small screen, this is how it looks like. It's small screen. Uh, for small screen, we also need to remove the sh um, all of this one, the message, and then we just keep the profile. Let's go ahead and do that. Small screen. Uh, you can also find that by just removing it from where you are importing it and then uh, clear this one uh, okay now oh, it's not there okay okay for profile we want to navigate to home page. We want to navigate to home page on a click. Uh, this is profile, so. So this one, first of all, change here, a set of notification, uh, set of notification, I'll set here, mm, shopping cart. Shopping cart, then say, Uh, so card items. Um, uh, 
uh, save that, go back. All right. Mm. First of all, we don't have the card item. We can go ahead and create the card. Uh, but before that, we want to make sure that you are redirecting the user on click. Eh? So we want to see where is that URL on the click profile. Want to see profile. Uh, this is a profile so on uh, click we can add a function here on click handle profile open nope. oh handle handle or redirect handle or redirect Hmm. handle um, dashboard by default we just redirect to dashboard so copy this one scroll down a little bit uh, here handle click So for small screen, what is really happening for the small screen? Icon. So if you go to small screen like this, you actually actually have a title um, uh, icon. So we want to handle one click on this one, either name or um, icon. So to do that. Here we have an icon, and then where is the name? Okay, so I can bar and uh, I'm trying to see where is the Oh, this is a handle on close, handle on click. All right, so we can use AI <coughs> to clean up this one. Let's copy this one to go clean up and speed up our development. Let's go to AI. Uh, uh, let's use let's clean up this clean up this this code and um, redirect redirect to dashboard dashboard on click on click on a profile on profile of icon and um, to 
shop to cart on a click so this is going to speed up our development so we're going to focus on the functionalities and all of that Alright, so let's copy this one. <clears throat> they change, you can see, add the redirection to dashboard and to a card function to handle navigation on a profile and um, card clicks. Clean up, handle menu close and the handle mobile close functions. Okay, simplify the return blocks. Alright, let's go back. Let's just paste our code here to see the change. First of all, start from the top. First of all, let's start from the top. Um, uh, I we like to remove first of all these areas errors to see. Don't want to see errors. Title. Um, the title is missing a prop. Okay, we need to add the prop. Um, We can actually modify our function a little bit. Modify this just a little bit. So I can export it. Export our function. And also let's create a um, dot prop types. Title prop types is not there. We need to import it. We can also import prop types. Import prop uh, looks like I have a little bit of problem here. Okay, <clears throat> import um, prop types prop types from prop types mm, that's supposed to be actually uh, prop types. Probe types and then save, go back, application reload. Mm, app looks like it's a bit slow. Can we actually close this one and then go back to our app C. See again, save again. I'll try this one. All right, looks like this our yeah. So now we have a cut. This one will redirect us to cut. We don't have a cut yet, and this will redirect us to profile. And um, instead, we have to correct something here. Sorry, go back to instead here. Let me show you what I mean. Mm, profile.
Okay, in set here, we have to we have to redirect the user to the um, the actually dashboard. But one thing before doing that, let's let's go first for to cut. Let's create first for the cut, and then we get back to that. We can close this one, and then we need to create our route for cut. So for cut, cut anyone can see it. So we can add here just cut. Anyone can see the cut. You don't need to be locked in as long as uh, you access the the app and then you add the product to cut. You can see it. So we can do route. Um, then uh, just reject the user to cut. Um, pass element. Element just going to be cut. And let's call it cut template. Or we can call it cut template or cut page. Cut page. The page does not exist, so we can close this. And then we want to just add in. A, it's actually a page, yeah? so it's just going to be in here. A page dot jsx. And then this is going to be source page, and then just cut. Um, const cut, const cut, and then uh, just going to return hello world from cut, and then uh, export the cut. Okay, so if back here you can import it, um, or you can just go to that, trying to type in it, you'll be able to import that. So now if you go back to cut uh, here, now hello world from cut. Okay, um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, first of all, let's close this one. We will get back to that, and then we also close this. But for cut, before going far, before going further, <coughs> I want to show you that we can use um, our. Let's use our uh, first of all, pass the fragment here, and then use. Let's use the app layout. Eh? Um, app layout uh, app layout mm. and then we just pass this one pass the same content but this time let's close the uh, app layout we need to import it you can import um, app app layout from component then if you save it, you go now, you see this now app, app layout. If you want, you can pass the footer. Let's pass footer here. Say footer. Uh, this is going to be app footer. Uh, which one is it? It's app footer. Let's try to search for it. App footer. Yes. Close that and then just say app footer. Uh, import app footer from component and then save that now we have app footer so we don't need to type you can see now the the benefit of using a uh, app layout all right guys so next we want to work on um, uh, something here uh, for example here what i mean is we want to redirect to user. Remember our dashboard, our URL. This is the URL we have. So this is the URL. We uh, this is how we redirect the user to dashboard. So to do this one, first of all, we need to get the user. We can do something. For example, um, uh, let's do const. But we can actually access this. We can get the session. Uh, we want to get the session. 
plus this one just scroll down a little bit to get the session okay this is a, this is it you want to get the session the const um, session we just need the session eh? is equal to get the session um, you can also pass the other method but for now let's just go with the session and then we want to import uh, want to import it from session import uh, sorry import um, use use authentication eh? and then where is the session this is the session uh, down here where we are redirecting we want to check if the session and then we use the session else we reject to login if if session dot user dot id we can use the same thing which we, we are using a um, uh, private route but in here instead we just want to we just want to redirect the user we don't have much here we're doing for example i want to do uh, is equal to admin or is equal to manager we want to now uh, redirect to this url so we're going to do uh, back tip back tip then um, dashboard then also admin so this could be actually a switch statement but let's just go else if if user dot um, the role is equal to seller we want to go to seller else we just we are going to navigate to user and then close this one yeah but if it's um, for this one here well for cut is actually okay we don't need to be we don't need to check for the roles all right so but as all right that's okay that's okay but another thing we, you see here I, else if there is no user you will go to you will redirect you to user dashboard and then if user dashboard if for example you go to user dashboard this is the user dashboard the seller but uh, let's log out and then try to go to user dashboard the redirect us back to login so if i try to change here just set user they redirect you back to login so this is what we mean here that if there is um, none of this role match they will send you back to default user which is just a buyer all right guys uh, that's it for this one you can clear this um okay next we want to start now adding um admin path admin um, what i mean admin uh, component welcome screen all of that uh, right. see you next video please subscribe make sure to subscribe leave some comment there what have you want us to improve thank you for watching